Okay, so this video is going to be very short, and very sharp, and to the point. There are three different looks that women... Look, actually, let's go right to start. What is the point of this video? This point, the point of this video is um, if you're a guy who is trying to find a wife or girlfriend, long-term partner, before you even get there, you need to find, you need to actually understand when someone is showing you interest. So you need to understand um, where your best opportunities are to actually get, um, get that wife or get that girlfriend or get that partner long term. So anyway, it begins with three different looks that women give you. So these are based off my experience and I think they might be quite useful. So the very first look is a very subtle look and basically the look Basically, you walk into a place, um, we'd be walking around uh, on the street, whatever, and a girl would suddenly look at you like this and then look away. Very, very subtle, like, like this. I'm going to get closer so you can see it. Like this. And you just carry on talking to a friend or doing their thing. Now, what does this look mean? This look means you are someone that is worth looking at. Like, the girl finds you intriguing enough to look at, but they're not sure about you. If you talk to their friend or someone they knew and they got to understand you a bit better, then they'll actually start to feel confident to actually want to get to know you better. But if they don't know you and there's no way of actually engaging with them, it's, it's not going to work that, that, that well. You might come up and talk to them, I've tried this, and it just fizzles out because they just don't feel that there's a right intention somewhere. That's the first look. The second look is one of more interest. And sorry, going back to the first look, the first look you often get that with um, people in, who are like in their early 20s, i found. Um, they're not yet confident in themselves. So, yeah usually younger, younger girls. Now the second look you get is more girls, you, you get that more of 25 and over, basically women, established women. And basically it's like this. So they have a smile on their face while they walk past you. And it'll be a very deliberate walking past you, making sure they make eye contact, the smile, and then they walk away past you. Now this is, you have a good chance, it's 50-50. Normally the women that do this, I found in my experience, are confident women who are not necessarily in their um, feminine. So they may have a bit of a, how do I explain this? They might be quite difficult to be with. Um, and if they find, like I'm very confident in myself, I'm very grounded in myself, in that, in that masculine sense. So I tend to scare off these kind of women. So when I talk to them and they feel that presence, they feel that I'm actually not insecure myself, they actually find a way of ending the conversation and trying to move on to something else and be like, oh, have a good night. Hope you enjoy yourself. So be careful with these. If you're someone who is younger, like in your 20s, or you're someone who is not yet that secure of themselves, then you probably have a good chance of, um, of um, engaging well with this kind of person. So that's look two. Now look three is, you can get that from any age. Typically I get it from um, women who are my match. Uh, basically there's what I call a tribal match. People who are genetically on your level, people who are your level spiritually, people on your level, just all, all over. They just match you, they're your match. And typically for me, they're the most feminine um, for me. So, it doesn't matter how old they are, but typically they are in their, from 20 to 30s. That's, that's, that's the age range, because I'm, I'm 30. So, it's so obvious, this look. This look will actually looks kind of intimidating to some, not intimidating, but it'll look like if they want to have a fight with you. It's like this look, it's like this, it's so, <laughs> oh gosh. Look is like this. Or, 
the girl will be coming next, like you'll be like, I don't know, in an area and the person will come next to you for, and they'll be there next to you for a little while and then they'll look at you after a little while, well, just like. That look is basically, please talk to me, come and talk to me straight away. I, I find you extremely attractive. Please talk to me. Let me get your contact details. And <laughs> it's so it's so funny how in the past I used to interpret it as there's something wrong with me. Uh, I've done something really bad, or um, you've really offended me, or there's something bad that I've done. I used to really feel like when I when it first used to happen, I used to think like, oh, am I not supposed to be in this place? Like the way they look at me is like, why are you here? But actually, no, it was the complete opposite. When a girl looks at you like that, she's a woman looks at you like that, she's like totally in love with you. And these these the times when I've actually managed to talk to people who do that, it's been automatic. It's so easy, like so easy for me. And the unfortunate thing is these are very rare. You very rarely get this kind of opportunity because it's so hard for um not only is it hard to find a very feminine woman who is able to show that. Um, but she's also, it's also very hard for women these days to show that kind of confidence um, to a man because it is quite a, quite a vulnerable position to put yourself in, you know. You're showing yourself as a woman to a man that, yeah, here I am. You can talk to me. And you don't know what the man's like. Is he going to be aggressive? Is he going to be violent? So it's going to be rare. I I get this look maybe once every, <laughs> every, every two years or something like that. Once every two years, maybe once a year. Is is that rare? Um, I've had it. I've I can count on my hand. Yeah, one hand. The number of times I had a look. Um, twice, three times. The first, the first three times. Actually, that's not true. I've had a look about seven times. The first three times. This is in my early twenties when I didn't know what a look meant. I was like, "Whoa, this is she offended? Whatever is she? Did she think I'm mad or crazy? I don't know." But then obviously I learned a bit more, I intuited it a bit more. And then the next three times it happened, the next four times it happened, I actually managed to talk to them. And yeah, it was easier. But the one of the times I was in a horribly depressed state of mind, I actually had no motivation to go to the person and talk to them. They were looking at me and I was just depressed. I just I couldn't do it. I was just too depressed that day. But anyway, those are the three looks I've noticed. If you want to, if you want to find a partner, a long-term girlfriend, whatever, and you are not sure what are the signs, what it looks, uh, what they mean, um, especially if you're a guy in your early twenties, this is these are the looks and this is what they mean, and I hope that's useful to you because that's gonna definitely prevent a lot of heartbreak, both on their side and both on the guy's side, because you won't be sitting in your bed a year later or two years later thinking, oh, I wish I'd gone and talked to them. I wish we talked and yeah, regret is a horrible thing. But anyway, that's it guys. Peace.